Hey guys, so today I'm going to be playing this game called Plague Inc. And I'm going to be showcasing how to play the game, some basic strategies, and then I'm going to leave it at that. Because every time I play this game, whenever I'm recording, it keeps on crashing. So I'm just going to uh, hurry this up so hopefully it won't crash. But if it does, then I'm just going to end the tutorial at that and say you probably understand the basics of how to play. But uh, what you have to do is start out with a country. So select a country to infect people in. And you'll notice I selected China, and now there's one person infected in China. Oops. And always select those bubbles that pop up because they always they help you. The red ones get you into countries faster. Uh, the uh, orange ones I think give you more DNA points, or which are right here, which gives you uh, the abilities to buy transmission symptoms and abilities. So just keep that in mind. What I like to do at this very start of the uh, game, I like to just speed it up all the way just to hurry things up. So that's what we're gonna do. And you'll notice everything starts speeding up. The uh, okay, great. <laughs> but uh, those bo those white things are boats and airplanes if you didn't already know basically if they turn red that means there's someone infected on that airplane or boat which is good you want that to happen because the whole game the whole goal of this game is to kill everyone so the more people the more red that you see the better really and we have 15 DNA points 16 DNA points so I'm just gonna get a transmission I'm gonna get air one and in the symptoms, I'm going to make my disease have a coughing symptom and a... Can I get anything else? Actually, I'm going to get sneeze. Nope, I can't get sneezing yet. So whenever I get, uh, I think it was four, I'm going to get sneezing. Oh, six, sorry. Until I get six, I will get sneezing. There we go. And evolve. Okay. So right now I'm just trying to build up my infection rate of my disease, which is right here. I don't want any lethality because that kills everyone. I just want it to be infectious. I want to infect everyone all across the world. I want all this whole world to be red before I start actually trying to kill everyone. That's that's a just you know a basic strategy of this game. Because if you do start killing everyone, then they're going to start developing a cure, and whenever a cure is developed, that is when you lose the game. So you don't want that to happen. And right now we have over uh, 200,000 people infected in China, which is awesome. And I'm going to spread by insect. And uh, is there anything else I want? I have 70 DNA points. I'm just going to do nothing for now. OK, so I'm in a new country over here, which is nice. I'm in Iran. I'm in Russia now, I think. Let's see, yeah, Russia starting to build up my disease very fast but this is really all you need to do you need to select the bubbles and whenever disease comes you know just uh, touch the blue bubbles or if uh, you're worried about the cure time just go to your disease abilities and get drug resistance whenever they start developing a cure and it'll set it back a couple of days or so and you can notice that uh, China is starting to get way more infected now with all the red everywhere which is nice. There's a uh, infected airplane that's going across the United States. Sweet. Got a boat that just went into Mexico. That was infected. Um, gosh, this is getting crazy. Um, <laughs> which is good. We want crazy. I'm gonna do in insect two, and symptoms. Let's go uh, nausea. And if this game crashes, actually, let's let's do a little precaution. Save and quit. Save, yes. Play, load game. So there we go. We just saved the game. And that means if this game crashes, we could go back to this point in time right now, which is nice because this game does crash often sometimes. And it, for some reason, has a high probability of crashing at the very end of the game whenever you're about to win. So if you want to save your victory condition, which I still haven't done yet because it keeps on crashing, I keep on forgetting to save or whatnot. But uh, if you want to save your victory condition, uh, you might want to, you know, go to the options over here and save and quit and just load up the game again. And 46 in DNA points right now. Right now I'm just going to keep on selecting the bubbles. There's a lot popping up. There's nothing too important that I can be doing right now. Ooh, did, crap, I should have read that, I think. Let's go to the uh, news. Nothing important. If you go to the world uh, menu over here and go to data 
infection spread summary, you can actually see how many healthy countries there still are, how many infected countries there still are, and how many destroyed countries there still are. So it's kind of useful if you like data. This whole world menus doesn't really help you with anything. It kind of gives you some basic information about, you know, your disease. But uh, let's select these bubbles right here. I think I missed that one in the United States. And let's get some more symptoms. How many actually? We've infected 29% of the whole population and 70% still healthy, so I don't want to start killing people just yet. Um, let's start infecting their water supply. So I'm going to get water, water 2. Upgrade, let ships be infected again. So now we can, uh, now we're in ships, so if a ship has an infected person on it, uh, it allows the possibility to have that happen where previously before boats couldn't have infections on them. Ah, oh, so many countries with bubbles popping up. <laughs> Good lord. Stop it. That one's right on the options menu. Good lord, I, I can't I can't keep up with the demand. Ah okay let's uh let's, let's get an ability cold resistance, get some heat resistance just a higher probability of them getting in hotter, colder regions. And uh, drug resistance, why not? Just Gosh, we have so many DNA points, it's crazy. But as you can tell on easy, it's pretty easy to get everything infected. <laughs> Hence the word easy. And we almost have almost every country infected. I think we might have everything infected. Whenever we do, Okay, we're almost there. Whenever I get uh, Greenland and the other country infected, then that's when I'll start killing off people. But for the time being, I'm just going to wait. And just to increase the probability, I'm going to cold resistance of two because Greenland's pretty cold. Oh, there we go. We're in Greenland. Sweet. And we don't want to kill people off just yet. We're going to wait until Greenland gets about a couple thousand, two thousand people infected. Because if you start killing people off too fast, then the disease won't even spread fast enough in that country. All right, there's around 1,000 people, so we can start killing people, I guess. Uh, so the symptoms at the very bottom have a higher probability of having a lethality rate, or they do have a higher uh, lethality rate always, so I'm just gonna build up, just gonna select random ones and build up the lethality rate, and as you can see, it's starting to jump up there. And just the more that you build up on your disease, the higher lethality that comes with it. Can I get anything else? Boom. Sure. So now we're going to really start taking out people. If you look at the world map right here, there's a lot of people dying. And we've infected almost everyone, which is awesome. And they have a cure right now. I'm not too worried about the cure because we're going to be killing off way too many people way too fast. And we're going to start shutting down everything super quickly. It's 140 days. There's plenty of time for me to kill everyone before that and just shut down all their hospitals and everything before they can... Uh, find a cure for it, so I'm not really worried about the cure, because I mean I have every every place, but if, if you are worried about the cure, then just uh, build up your drug resistance over here, and it'll slow it down. But let's just start killing, have a, more symptoms for killing people, because that's what we do. And good lord, so 14%, everyone's infected, 14% of the uh, world is dead. Which is awesome, because we're going to kill everyone, and then we're going to win the game. <laughs> but I think you guys get the point. It's pretty simple. The easy mode, normal gets a little harder. You have to be a little bit more cautious. If the government shuts down your stuff too quickly, or uh, if you're killing people too quickly, and, uh, and there's no one infecting the country, you have to slow down the lethality rate. So it gets a little bit more complicated, but this should get you started with understanding how to get, you know, how to win the game at that. I'm just going to get some more symptoms. There we go. So now look at, look at our lethality rate. So everything's up there. And if you notice, three years, see we've taken out so many hospitals that uh, the cure has delayed, which is why I wasn't worried about it. I knew that was going to happen. Everyone was infected before, so really wasn't worried about the cure. But now just we have to wait for everyone to die, really. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I might have some more 
videos like this if you guys want them. Make sure you like the video, comment if you want more of these. I'm not sure if many people watch this video, but if they do, that's awesome. But uh, I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch this video. It's very nice of you. <laughs> and almost at 100%. Awesome. Almost everyone's dead. Just going to sit back and wait for the world to destroy itself. It's a nice feeling, you know. <laughs> that it just feels wrong to say that. So now there is around 300,000, 200,000, and, well... Thanks guys for watching. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> Boom. For more game walkthroughs like this video, make sure you go to breezethroughgames.com.